Why are you my motorbike to educate in Yorkshire? Oh, well, that is that meant to be Yorkshireian? That's how they sound, don't they? I'm going up pub with, with, me, was, with me mum and da. That was Alan Yorkshire. Because it was actually a Newcastleian accent. They're all northern, though, aren't they? Yeah. They're all getting burned down in the end. Call by them. Emperor. Call the northerners. Get rid of them! They're going to hate that. They're gonna, we already get enough comments about how we apparently hate northerners Well, anyway. I get told I'm a Tory non-stop, so... And I don't think I sound like one at all. Yeah, that's horrible. He, he votes Britain first, everyone. Exactly. Oh, you agreed with that? Yep. Well, let's watch this. It will be fun. Uh, we've set ourselves up for failure already, so let's just begin. Your school days. Why are you late? Forgot this. Well, that's not good enough. Forgot what? Wait, the just forgot. You got school? Wait, did you, wait, did, yeah, did you forget the entirety of school? Like, the concept? Like, oh, I forgot that I've got a thing I do every day. <laughs> yeah, I feel like school's too big of a thing in your life to really just, like, forget it about it. It takes up five of your seven days a week and you've forgotten that you've got it. Yeah, I don't have all the numbers at the bottom. These ones here? Yeah. Well, they're letters, not numbers. No. Oh. Is that really Get an wrecked. own? No, not really. I think it's a Freudian slip. Of You're illiterate. That's not really an own, to be honest. I think, I think that was just a little slip of the words. I don't know if she was stupid enough to think that letters are numbers and numbers are letters. But also, right, if you're the teacher, that's on you. Yeah. What do you rank? What, what was your favourite subject at school, out of curiosity? <laughs> Break time. <laughs> I'm not going to go for PE because that was the, that's an obvious one. I feel like that's a, that's a cop out if you go, oh, my favourite subject's PE. Oh, what you like running round, you pussy. Um, <laughs> I, I, was, I was fond of art. I liked art. Did you? But then again, I am a creative. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, there's no backstory to that, but at, at no point is that like the... It must be deserved, right? Like, that has to be deserved. I feel like, actually, yeah, that would have to be deserved. You can't just run up on someone and just throw their head into the if, ground. If that is completely unprompted, then that, that kid's got huge problems. Oh, me, wait till I get that ginger little bastard, all this. Oh, he's ginger, maybe. Oh. But, no, he's probably bullied. He probably got bullied. Do you bully ginger? Do you like ginger people? Um... It depends on the ginger person, which I don't think is an outlandish thing to say. No, because if you said that about like, any other kind of like person, that'd be fine, wouldn't it? it that goes with every person. Surely, God, give it us depends some examples. On the, it depends on the white person. More exactly. As we know, people, Northerners were proper, rate, right, clever, out with Jed. I think putting those two clips back to back is kind of a, it's kind of unfair. No, he needs a um, hair transplant. It's not relevant to what you said, but it's true. There's a new head teacher. Quite scared of you, sir. Go on, you can keep it that way. That's a weird thing to say, is it? Surely you want them to like you. Yeah. Really scared of you. It's a bit odd to like want people to fear you. I used to have like really? one of the worst head teachers ever. Really? In what in what way? The, with, were they uh, some sort of dictator? Uh, no, we didn't know. Uh, they just like tell me to do my tie up. Is that me? Did you go to school in York? Was that me? That's you. That's me. You're in what? You're in this. Go on, do a Yorkshire accent. Yeah, oh, I want a bit good busty. We're gonna get in trouble. I'm just reading this in the background. What to do if you're being bullied? You shouldn't feel ashamed about being bullied. You should. You definitely should. There's a reason why. It's not your fault. Well, whose fault is it then? Yeah. Well, if they're bullying you and not other people, it's definitely something to do. With it you. is important that you get help. Yeah, because your hairline's clapped. <laughs> Does Rota Shaw go to the school? <laughs> hey, that's a great I one. I just packed an icon! I had somebody throw a chair at me once in Murphs. Did you? Did they just pack Team of the Season in Iniesta? <laughs> I've got this one story, this same kid. Yeah, we were playing rounders. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and you know how you've got to stand on the outside? You're not going to stand on the inside because you run on the inside. Just like then... at a zoo. Yeah. I was running round and I noticed he was standing on the inside. Yeah. I'll just, I'll teach him a lesson because that's against the rules. So I just ran, I just body checked him. Right. But he was like twice my size. So. Oh, he's a human, so yeah, he is. <laughs> so I hit him and I fell over. And then when I looked up, he was standing over me and he, and he pulled my, my rounders bat out of my hands. And he was about to bash my head in. And then he, he was shaking with, ra like genuinely shaking with rage. Sorry, did you live in East Enders? <laughs> and he's going like that. And then he like let go of it like so out like a movie. And then he pulled me up. And he went, I don't know what came over me. I, I thought I was gonna kill you. And that's why I avoided dying that day. We filmed over a year to find out. Sorry, what life is, is it really like. practice for Scooby Doo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Wait, that's not Scooby. No, go on, try it again. <laughs> 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 
What? Oh, Greggy, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> so you sound like one of those little, like, chews. <laughs> Let's do, you could be Shaggy. Uh, okay. Um, uh, and I'll be Scoob. Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> like Soik Scoob, I have absolutely no idea what you're on about. We should totally get some Scooby snacks. <laughs> like Scoob, the doctor told me to put you down. <laughs> Okay, we're moving on. If he doesn't apologise, he's going to spend the rest of his natural life in detention. It might get sense to life in like detention. the Geneva Convention. I told you I was putting a report card, wasn't I? I just assumed it. Yeah, I was quite a bad boy. Add, like, rock music over that when I wink into the, <laughs> into the camera. That is a horror. I mean, I'm just thinking of the edit and I hated it. It's your cute New York shit. Fucking hell, I should have got you to... You, you, you should go to voice acting, mate, for sure. I should do. Well, this was filmed in 2004. Wait, would you call it when um, you nutmeg a popular Sega character? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we? You know, I've only ever danced once properly. I've never. <laughs> Mr. Mitchell is the new head teacher Elris. at Thornhill. <laughs> <laughs> Sack up, Paul. Imagine seeing your head teacher doing this in his spare time. You never. Know? Yeah, you'd lose all respect for him. Good morning. What was that? What was he eating? I don't know. Pizza, maybe. I what did you? What did you used to have in the canteen? Um, fights. Yeah, we had we had good food. I liked I liked our food. We introduced something in our final years. My uh, my we said by we my friend introduced sports meals so you could um. Go up to the person and say, "Oh, I've got. I, I'm doing sport. I need. I require a sports meal." And a they'd sports give, meal. Yeah, and they'd give you more. Did you ever have these? Um, no. Well, I always like this was such a core cool memory for me. Suzo, they were fucking awful, but like I used to drink them because it was like kind of like an energy drink. I used to have these, and then I used to have now this beans. Oh my god, far right is grim old in you. <laughs> what is that thing? Well, I was always searched my school into Google. My school, genuinely, had like a fucking prison gate in front of it. This is what my school used to look like. What do you nice. think? It's like so somebody's built it in Minecraft. <laughs> Sorry, if you're an architect, you do a degree in architecture and you come up with a box, you need firing squad. Jesus Christ. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if they still do that there. <laughs> And you've either got that is a trim. What the fuck is that thing? You've got to be able to play ball to be able to rock that haircut in the playground. Oh, even then you are getting bullied. So have you both got your tongues pierced? Mate, you'd never be allowed to do that at my school. Like, you'd never got away with that, like, any form of piercings. <laughs> oh, well, did you try and get your belly button pierced or something? No, I've actually I've actually got no piercings. I don't know about you. No, I haven't got any, but I don't know why that was such, like, a... Any... Well, here's a fun fact about me. I don't have any piercings. Any, 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 any I haven't seen yet? Cock ring? A cock ring isn't a piercing. Well, I want to... That's the perception I want to change. I want bums on seats. I want kids to come here because it's their school of choice. And that's what any head teacher wants. Oi! Well, this is nice. definitely this this first four minutes of this show is definitely going to encourage them to bring their kids here. Yeah, I want to go there. Do you reckon they'd let us come do a talk there? No. Top of your voice, no, but I will lick your bumhole. Wait, what was the context on that? I'll was, lick your bumhole. Was was there any? Mrs. Marsden, head of Year Seven. Somebody went into those girls' to toilets, so it was either you or Cara shouting out at the top of your voice, no, but I will lick your bum hole. Well, is she trying to take them up on their offer? Why does she want to find out? They're in year seven. I think that's why it's concerning, I think. She would have not survived in a Modern Warfare 2 Call of Duty lobby. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I, that's what my response would have been. Yeah. <laughs> Ever been in a Call of Duty lobby? And then Idiot. Gone, then gone, George, you're a, you're a 23 year old man. What are you doing in here? Yeah. Uh, and then I'd have gone. Educating Yorkshire, man. I wanted to have a look around. Maybe should send you to educate Yorkshire. I think I think you do a good job. I think any southerner is qualified to educate Yorkshire. <laughs> I apologise. That was a. I'd like to point out this was a joke <laughs> for legal reasons. Before you come and shank me. You're not helping. Oh, <laughs> you are not helping yourself. That as well was a joke. Yes, school in a maths classroom. Do maths. I wouldn't be able to take him seriously. I'm not gonna lie. That, that, that kid had done nothing wrong. That was just how he teaches maths. <laughs> Which is really loud. Do maths. Do it. I'm partially deaf. Could you untangle those for me? Everybody takes their eye off the ball at some point, but there are some things that you stand for. Did he just make that kid untangle the headphones? Yeah. Is that abuse of power? I thought he's. 
thing is, I just know that if he'd have come over and offered that to me when I was a kid, I've just loved it. I'd have been like, oh yeah, any excuse not to work. Oh yeah, and you know for fair. a fact that you just would have really enjoyed it. So oh. it's, it's a mutual agreement that I think like, everybody everybody's winning. There. It is beneficial. He's smoking. Are you kidding me? Come on, Alex. He's a child. You can't say he's smoking. No, that's not why, man. I mean, he's, he's all right looking, but he's, he's <laughs> <laughs> jokes again. Hey, bingo, got the big time, all of you, we're outside isolation now. He, he could have gone in so much cooler and like dropped such a better bomb on them, but he just, he rushed it, I think. He, if he had added a pause in, like if he did, went over and did the teacher, ah! Uh, right, you catch me smoking. Mm. Ah! Uh, smoking on school premises? Yeah, bitch. I think there's a chair outside of isolation with you on the minute. Yeah, I, I think I would have hit you. I mean, is that meant to, is that meant to scare me? <laughs> oh no, I'm Alex is going to hit me. <laughs> and Mr. Barraclough has just caught some students smoking behind the IT block. We had a terrorist attack once. Did you? Yes. I thought that was a lie. No, it's true. I had a bloke come into our school and just strip in front of us. He was just stood there and we were like, what's what's going on here? This Because he was stood rather presumptuously and there was people all around him and then just started taking all his kit off. There was a school full of children just watching this naked man just stand there. So one of our rugby teacher decided to rugby tackle him. Um, oh, well, of course he bit, did. A bit too eagerly. Right, who's been smoking then? Have you been smoking? Yes? Have you been smoking? Yeah. yeah. Bit weird to just smell the kids, in it. Bit weird to go... Have you been smoking? <laughs> I mean, I don't think he did it in that way. It was more just a use broken. Yeah, you have. Uh, yeah, you have. Okay, cool. Yeah, you have. It wasn't... Have you been smoking? Well, you, that's why you go outside schools, don't you? To smell the children. <laughs> well, you said it, not me. No, you said it. <laughs> no, you said it. I mean, they, you said no, it. You said have you been smoking? Okay. He's gone in for the kiss there. Eh? 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 Is he wearing a trackie? Purple Aki in a trackie. Shag you up the bum. I feel you the way this come. Sounds like your life motto. Mine's purely vaginal. <laughs> I know I, 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 I know I said that. Oh. Consensual? Year 10 students, Bailey and Kaylee, will be made to work in Bailey and Kaylee? Bailey and Kaylee? Like, what, are, are, they, are they dogs? For a Beano <laughs> comic. <laughs> it's Bailey and Kaylee. It's like a children's TV show. Bailey, can you turn into the booth, please? Well, is she a shapeshifter? <laughs> How are Bailey and Kaylee going to get out of this one? Find out next time on Bailey and Kaylee. Find out after the regular scheduled programming of Horrible Histories. Great show, by the way. Very good. Do you remember any of the raps? Wrong, 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 wrong. How's it go? Do you actually remember it? Go on then. Turbo 2 just was Jordan Slimy Stewart's Bar Victoria's Wolf Wars Ferocious Fights Digi Castles Bear and Knights Horrors that defy description Cutthroat Cuts are full Egyptian Vicious Fighting Cruel Kites oh, Punishments yeah. from Ancient Times Roman Rotten Ragged Grimish Cave and Savage Fish and Tipish Groove Gravy Slavage Groove Gravy Slavage Groove Gravy Middle Ages Gory Stories We do that And your host are talking rat The past is no longer a mystery Welcome to Smoking, Mr. I asked Mr. Mitchell this very question last week. He said it's in isolation. Yeah, but we have been told that. I feel like it's common sense that like smoking would get you put in like a detention in isolation. Mm. I don't. I, like, I mean, I always knew that. I mean, there's not. There's not like written down. It's not like a menu, is it? Where you have a rule and then the punishment you get. I feel like it's just done on severity. Yeah, or well, like common sense, really. Like you could assume that that yeah. would probably get you in trouble. Well, I wasn't told if I sh if I stabbed my mate that it would put me in isolation. That would probably get you to the prison time. But do you know what I mean? Like that that wouldn't be a rule that's written down. Probably get you prison time. I think it would. I don't know if it would because it depends on age. I might go to juvie. True, actually. Mm. Did you ever get sent there? No, I went to Christian V. Hey, religion joke. Fucking hell, you get the best on this channel. I said, you're a pretty girl. She went, oh, no, all these scars. She's, and she has got issues with that, and obviously that will affect her self-esteem if she takes all the makeup off. And I can understand that. That's just too nice. But now I've just goes over my head because I've learnt to live with it. Don't care. There were five of them there, and four of them just stood in front of the window and threw snowballs at the window. <laughs> and then all this business, you silly old time. I went out to see what was going off, and the first thing I got was... Get in there, you white-haired white old bastard. <laughs> That's quite mean. Maybe they were really happy to see her. 
Get in there, you wired old bastard. Woo! Yeah, it could be seen as yeah. it could be seen as positive. As positive. That's what be. they wanted. They were like, they were, they really love this woman. Please come out, they're throwing snowballs. Please. Yeah, and then she opened the door. They, they were doing that. Get in there. They were doing that. They were going. They were doing yeah. that. They were going. Come here. Yeah, I think she got this misconstrued. I've got angina. Got man, angina. <laughs> I mean, fair enough. It's it's well, it was like 2008, so it wasn't fair enough back then, was it? <laughs> in the eyes of the public, was the joke there? But um, <laughs> not in the opinion of this YouTube channel. Although you should never get your mangina out in the public. No, bad idea. No. I've done it before. It doesn't go down well. Barry said, "Right, there's four of you. All come at once, okay. and we'll see who's left standing." Whoa, wait! Barry's so threatened to fight four children for throwing snowballs. Oh, I thought he was offering out a soggy biscuit. Right, there's four of you. All come at once. Did you tell me you had names? Oh yes. Do you tell him? <laughs> yeah, we gotta find out. Why has one kid got no face? Do you know why I want to talk to you? Yeah, about when the, that man got snowballed. Yeah, that's exactly what it's all about. <laughs> oh, that man got snowballed. It's so funny if he was like, was it about the kid that I threw in the bin outside? No. No. Oh, was it the uh, the the one that I slide tackled? No. no. <laughs> Just was it, was it, was it about the acid attack? No, Cameron. <laughs> Was it about uh, uh, I've started a terrorist group in the school yard? No! Oh, oh, the, the slurs that I keep yelling at the, the passers by. No, it was, the, yeah. it was the snowball of the old man. Oh, yeah, we were so glad to see him. Yeah. <laughs> Go out, you old, you old right head bastard. Oh, great day. And I got a phone call from the police, and the words the police used were running amok. And they also used the word terrorising. I don't know if I'd say throwing snowballs is an act of terrorism, but... Get, get the US involved. Military drone strike. By the US, he means us. Get us involved. We'll take him out. We'll fight kids for fun. And I honestly think, whatever punishment you come out with here, you'll count yourself lucky. They threw snowballs, man. Yeah. It's not like that big of a deal. Come on, man, that's no joke. All right, well, thanks for watching this episode of HK Yorkshire. I, I'm, I'm fed up. I'm ending on that. If you guys want us to watch the rest of this episode or any more of them, please leave a like. If we get like 20,000 likes, uh, we'll watch another one, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe to George, subscribe to me, and we'll see you in one, two, three. Ugh, why, the heck, why are you rapping now? That's not a thing that should be happening. That goes for every YouTuber out there. Stop it. Bye. <laughs>